Welcome everyone to the One Day International Series between us and India. Um, we'll just go over a few results before we start the match. Um, series. Uh, let's see how we went against uh, New Zealand in the 20 over international in the two test matches against India. So we beat New Zealand in the only one off 20 over international by five wickets. Uh, pretty much New Zealand batted first one, 56 for eight. Contribution of Rafferty, Williamson and Carter. And two for 20 for um, Hadid Al Hassan um, was the pick of the bowlers. And we chased it fairly well. Um, Mabu 59 of 34 at the top, six forwards and two sixes. Good contributions from um, Hussain, Razak, Hirudoy, Islam, and Ahmed to finish it off. That got us a pretty good result. And we played a pretty good India side in India. Uh, we didn't play too well in this first match. Uh, drew this, uh, lost this match by eight wickets. All out for 170. Um, Abu Brown again 55 and Helder Hyder um, hanging around. 5 for 33 for Bomber. He was absolutely outstanding. Just ripped our um, middle order apart, really. 502 for 3. Rishabh Pant, 204. Jogal Kar, 133. It was just a dominant display for me. I'm not even sure him. Patakal got amongst the runs. Not um, much for the bowlers there. Batted a wee bit better in this innings, uh, 97 for Helder, he was Hyder, uh, sorry, he was close to bringing up a, a maiden first test 100, Rizwan 60, 73 for Hassan, yeah, it just wasn't enough um, batting of substance there to get um, a draw against India there, so we played um, India in this match, played a lot better, 401, uh, Hussain 211 was absolutely brilliant, 26 for one six. he was the mainstay of the innings, hold it. Holder, uh, 73 of 179. And just share of the wickets between Pratap, uh, Bumra, Williams, and yeah, 400 was a pretty decent score. We bowled them out for 378 with Ruby or Huck, 5 for 90. Shore, Jar, Punt, and Joggle Carr are bringing up 50s. 314 for 7 we declared. Uh, we had some good contributions, I'd say, of Hassan. Holder again, and uh, we picked on Tanzid Hassan, Hassan, who's been given a go, just due to good um, stats and domestic level, we have to keep trying things, and India 320 for 7, they got pretty close to beating us there, uh, Allahi 4 for 113, but we are sitting alright in the Test Championship at the moment, obviously teams haven't played too many games, uh, 3 wins, 3 losses and 1 no results, uh, obviously, we'll have to win some games in the next few series coming up if we're any chance of winning that. But um, anyhow, we'll be back with the team for the um, first one day international against India. Okay, for our team against a pretty powerful Indian outfit, we've gone with Mabu, Mama Naeem, Talhad Haraldoy, is it Nazmul Hussain? Yes. Asma Razak. Uh, we've got Islam, Mohammed Safuddin. Um, I'm not going to play Ahmed. I'm actually going to play um, Rahman. Yeah, we're going to have a pretty long tail. And that's our team. Um, Zaman and Al-Hassar make up the rest of the lineup. Um, even though he's out of form, he's still a very economical bowl, so that's why we've picked him. So we're going with a pretty good team. India are pretty stacked with all-rounders. They look like a world-class outfit. We have to bowl first, I reckon. Um, we're not very good defending need to make a good start on this surface it's a pretty good line and length at the moment first 10 early wickets are a must Zaman will pick up Sh sure that's a good wicket to get and he's picked up Ayer as well that's a couple of nice strikes for Zaman give him the world of confidence 45 for 2 after 10 that's our um, first 10 overs there We've got an all seam attack here with a part time of Razak um, following a bit of spin Um, some good decent fields going Zaman will bowl a couple more just to try and pick up that wicket he's got Rashad Pant and that has paid dividends for us because he was looking dangerous 26 or 25 four boundaries alright so we'll get um, Safodin into the attack just going to get these fields Pretty well organised. And Safuddin's amongst the wickets. Well, gear is gone. India will have sudden find themselves 79 for 4. Zaman will be a 
like the attack will bring in our other all rounder Ahmed. Very rare to see an all seam attack from Bangladesh, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll just bowl our part timer in Razak. See if Razak can get through a few overs here. Just even th two or three cheap overs, and then I don't have to bowl them too much anymore. We've just got to keep the heat on India, but they are getting away this partnership. Where was number 23? That's all I need out of Razak. Bring Rahman back. Where are his scoring shots? But yeah, uh, just need to get 177 for 400 after 33 overs. It's been pretty good from them. Padak Kal. It's gone for 75 of 92 deliveries. So that was a good strike from Rahman. He pulled Razak one extra over, but that's okay. Bring Hadid Ath Hassan back. Just chipping away here and there. 216 for 6 India. India will be a bit worried they're not going to bat out their overs here. Just going to be a bit more aggressive. We're going to bowl our main bowlers as much as we can. This is brilliant from the Bangladesh um, seam attack. It's doing a good job against the Indians. Can we bowl them out for under 250? It would be a remarkable effort if we did. And we have. Good effort from the lads. That is a very gettable total. We've just got to bat well. Got to get some guys in, established. And we can definitely chase this. It is overcast. It will suit um, bowling um, for the first 10. Keys get that platform. And I know one of my batsmen, Muhammad Naeem, is due for a big score. He's, he failed on the test series. Hopefully he delivers here. But I don't want to put the commentator's curse on him. I probably have. But our batting lineup has got a lot of potential in it. Again, I have picked Tauhid Harudoi. I'm just hoping he can prove something to me in the next wee while. I'm going to pick him in the test matches as well. It's a big call doing that. Uh, well, in the test squads at the least. I think he does have that potential. And Muhammad Naeem is gone. So his drought of runs continue. It's not quite happening for him at the moment. It's a lovely shot. That's four. 47 for one. Beautiful shot. Bangladesh bring up 50. It's got to go at a decent clip though. We don't want to have a bad um, run rate. Just in case um, and these bowlers start tying us up a bit, we want to be a little bit ahead of the run rate. Lovely shot from Marboob. But yeah, we've got to win this um, match. I want to set up this series. I want to win this series against India. Look, it's a, it's a big task. Very huge task. Lovely shots. It's four runs. 81 for one. This is classy Ben from Abul Marboob. Picked up the strike rate majorly in that over. Lovely in and out shots. The key will be the Indian spin. Possibly. He's gone. That's a good strike. I knew the spin would play a part. And this is where we're going to be tested. Got enough off the over already. Ah, oh, that is plum. Out for 20. So we're teetering a bit. Some batsmen have just got to step up. Get these runs. Razak. Um, has proven at this level in the one day format at least that he is capable get us into the game guys we've got only 127 to get off 4.5 per over it is very obtainable it's one decent partnership don't get um, tied down too much guys Just, this is their 
trying to push that rate up to around 6 per over. Key is just not to panic. Let's get a partnership formed again. We bat reasonably deep. Got two all-rounders in the team. Lovely shots from Rizard. Got to the pitch of the ball. It just drives that nicely for four. That's the cricket now. We're just starting to get back into a rhythm. Let's make sure we control that run rate. 152 for three. Obviously, um, a wee while back, we were disappointed not to reach the um, one-day International World Cup. Uh, we didn't qualify. We were 11th place at the time, and uh, we've got to rectify that. We've got to start winning some series against some of these teams. And 62 for three now. Let's go cricket shots. Four runs. 66 for three. Lovely. It's nice shots being played. Yeah, I was a wee bit disappointed with the test series as well. Like, we were just, just so terrible in that first test match. That I felt um, we were improved in that um, second test match, but we could have won it, you know. Like, we declared we set ourselves up for win. Uh, we're in a position in the Test Championship where we'll probably have to win the majority of our games to get through to the um, Test Championship final, which is our goal in this career mode, to get there and win it. Three boundaries in a row for um, Hamza Razak. It's looking really good. 190 for three. Bit of an edgy shot, but uh, one thing that these two have done is in a tricky situation of build a partnership again. They have um, made sure the scoreboard's ticked over. Getting the odd boundary here and there. Getting the singles. And in India have um, really had no answer for a while now. A bit of turn. 203 for 3. It's 50 for Hussain. time record for these two um, partnership against India and Razak has been trapped LBW for Ahmed for 59 of 89 deliveries 10 boundaries in that innings but he has surely got his side over the line with his display come on guys we don't let this slip it's gonna go aggressive now just get ahead of that run rate 232 for four. India would be disappointed to drop this game too. They're a wee bit um, disappointing with the bats. That's clinched it now. Six. One to win. And there we go. Bangladesh win the first one day international by six wickets. Good bowling performance all round from the bowlers there. Three fizz for Al Hassan, Zaman, and Rahman. And just a good performance from Hussain and Razak and Mabu at the top. And that is a pretty good result against um, India. Uh, right, so this is a very important match um, to back up on. Uh, we'll bring in... Um, maybe Huck, possibly, yeah. We'll bring in him and just bolster our bowling attack. Ahmed, yeah, he was hit or miss in that match. Um, Herodoy is being dropped. Um, debutante... Yeah, as everyone knows, Cal, Cal um, Helder. Uh, he's had a good test start to his test match career. He's had a wee bit of one-day international cricket. But he's got some talent, so we'll give him a bit of a run. Um, Islam, um, the keeper, has to start performing too. We're a one we back in. I've picked um, Islam um, just for his attacking ability. So we are um, batting for us this time. We're going to have to post something well in it. It's of 300. It's going to get stuck into the um, bowling pretty much. Muhammad Naeem, lucky shot there. He gets it away for four. Caress that way to third man for four. Well played. But 
yeah, very good to be in this series right to the end, regardless what happens. It makes it for more pleasant viewing as well, like we are wanting to win this series. If we win this series, we'll get ahead of Ireland um, on the rankings, and then we'll be in 10th, which is not not in, not good at all, but uh, yeah, we want to um, obviously do a bit, uh, do our bit to get up those rankings. So 50 run part between the um, two batsmen, Naeem and um, Abul Mabu. A wee bit slow, but uh, the platform's there now to really um, get stuck in. It's not a very good run, guys. All that hard work. I, I hate how they make terrible decisions in this game in terms of running. Like, they, they hit it to a field of run and close. Say that fielder there that I pointed to with the um, cursor. shot four runs oh, lucky from Hamanaim again he's riding his luck a wee bit as you got to as a batsman you got to ride your luck bit of a edgy shot too not in complete control of that beautiful delivery from now Kande want um, this guy to get going really he, he looks good um, for the test matches anyway we've found another talent to say the least. Oh, come on, guys. That, that's what I was talking about before. You don't run those runs. Just causing problems for us there. Uh, now the um, dreaded amount of wickets are starting to fall. And we've got to rebuild. Just because of that little mistake between running between wickets. The debutante is gone for 10. And all of a sudden, Bangladesh are 91 for 4. And India are well and truly on top in this match. Going to have to bowl Al Razak. Uh, hopefully he can form a partnership with Islam. This is an ideal opportunity for Islam to keep his spot in the team. Guy's been calling it in the um, YouTube comments to um, give this guy a go. Um, it's, he's had a good amount of matches now he's got to start um, taking his chances under an 18 for 4 now 250 is probably what we're going to have to look at unfortunately and that's probably not going to be enough and he hasn't taken it that could be the dagger in his um, career actually for us bring um, young um Wizwan back into the uh, team. Safudin. Mohamed Safudin. 128 for 5. It's going to take a fair bit for Bangladesh to recover from this position. So there's a lot of overs being chewed up. Just trying to get this um, going. Safudin's trapped LBW from Kumar. Zaman. So we're into the tail. And we've talked about silly running. They've run out Razak. Three run outs in this innings. Completely unnecessary. And I suspect we're not batting out our 50 overs. We've been completely outplayed in this match. Brilliant delivery from Kumar. India bounced back with a vengeance. I knew they would come back hard after that very disappointing performance they had in the first one day international. They've completely dominated this. But yeah, our, our, our own fault, pretty much. Just with Muhammad Naeem and Mabu being run out in Razak. Three batsmen that had got themselves in. And just terrible run choices. 162 for 9. This gets a lovely boundary away. Yeah, thoroughly disappointed in this uh, performance. We're going to have to bounce back strongly in that third match. This man getting a few boundaries away. He's played some nice shots. He's moved to 30. New all-time record against India for the last part chip. 189. So at least there's been a bit of respectability from um, Yang Zaman. 
And we're posted 200 for 9 off 50 overs. We somehow got over that um, Austin with Zaman, second top score. Proves he can bat a little bit anyway. He's got four first class 50s and three one day international, uh, three one day 50s. So you credit to how he played there. Kumar was outstanding, five for 42 for them. But there's no way this is defendable. Need early wickets and we have not got them. Gonna keep the field up a wee bit. For a while anyway. First wicket, sure. Out for 52 off 50. Muhammad Safuddin into the attack. Trying to be attacking. Um, by keep, I'm keeping the field pretty much the way it is. Trying to snag some more wickets. But yeah. There's no really point trying to um, defend here. Yeah, pretty comfortable run chase. Uh, ne it was never going to be enough. 100 to Patikal. Where he's got um, 1300s. That was his second one day international 100. They've, they've got some class in there still. But yeah, it's going to a decider anyway, this particular match. So we're just going to have to read it, um, think our um, plans. Yeah, Islam. I'm going to give it, I'm going to go a bit different here. Muhammad Naeem to come in at four. And he's captain for this game. Uh, we'll, bring, we'll bring in the spin. We'll bring in the spin option. I don't think Raman's really performed since he's come back. Yeah, he's just been a wee bit too expensive. Get a spin option in that attack. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that team. Bring his, Put him at... Um, nah, how I want to get him at three. And there's our team. So we would have a reshuffle. Muhammad Naeem just batting somewhere different in this game just to see if we can get him... Um, away from the new ball for a little bit. Try and get him some form again. Come on, guys. Not a brilliant start at all. 55 without loss after 10. Um, we'll bring in um, some spin. Pretty, uh, um, I'll just get my um, defensive mindset um, done. Uh, right, so we've got that option covered. Right, some spin. Uh, reveal Huck. Not the best possible start we could have had. And we are looking really ominous. Sure, 89 of 70 deliveries, 11 fours, two sixes. Uh, we're going to bowl um, some part time um, spin here. If we can snag a wicket. Have, have to try some things. Try and cut off those boundary options. Over for 12. This is absolutely carnage. India really putting on display here. They've got better every match and we're sort of going backwards. A very good first performance. Minus 10. We're just good. We've just got to try and restrict as much as we can. We'll huck. 172 without loss after 27 overs. Finally got the wicket ashore, but a lot of damage he has done. It's out for 120 off 93 deliveries, 16 fours, two sixes. What a fantastic display. This is our chance to try and get a few wickets and try and wrestle the initiative back. Uh, Padakal, uh, 53 off 76. I've probably pronounced that every time differently. I do apologise. Iron Pant, um, we're at the wicket now. And that's the key wicket of Rashad Pant. Uh, Hassan has done a wee job there. Got rid of the um, accelerator, I'd call him. Bring in Rizak. We're going to bring in some spin. Three overs for 20. Okay, four overs for 22. He's bowling quite well now. So, Hadid Al Hassan. 210 for three after 36. We're fighting back here to our credit. Got Ayer out now. And there's another wicket, Sarub. So in the air, all of a sudden, to be a bit more um, patient here. 258 for 5 after 41. Got to get the wicket of Kumar now. Zaman. Reveal Huck. I've got to have to get through one over or something here. If we can. Very expensive today, Ruby or Huck. It's been a bit disappointing. 
306 for six. It's going to be a fair run chase. We'll bring in Safudin. Safudin can bowl for the remaining. Well, yeah, we're chasing 353 for seven off 50 overs. Gear of 69 of 48. That was a great little innings towards the end. It's going to be a very hard run chase. Gonna have to play some brilliant cricket. We do have the capabilities of chasing this. It's a good surface. I think the key is their spin um, weapons, though. Those guys, um, are the ones I think that will ultimately decide this match. We're gonna have to take 60 off eat both of those spin bowlers and try and get Aiden over the other ones. Islam been given a chance to open today. He'll be out of form Muhammad Naeem. He's been dropped to number four. Abu gone, 19 off 11. Yeah, not um, good enough for um, Abu Mabu. But oh well. Oh, don't know how on earth that was stopped from the field of the air. shot down the ground. 50 up for Bangladesh. Eighth over. Oh. It's a play and a miss. Lovely shot from Islam. Will the promotion work for him um, today? It's runnable 31 at the moment. Yeah, they bought the spinner nice and early, so this is going to be fascinating. Friends of the Duckworth Lewis at the moment, it would be awesome if it did rain for a little bit and we were ahead of that. Good crisp shot from Hussain. It's a big over this. It's exactly the doctor ordered. So that's 20 off four deliveries now. bit too greedy perhaps uh, there trying to go for the little bit extra damage has been done in the over one off that over okay and I think Islam has departed he has he's out for 31 off 33 six boundaries in his innings he really needed to kick on there right be interesting to see how Muhammad Naeem goes at four new ball's been seen off he gets to play a bit of the spin First time in a wee while. Hundred up for Bangladesh with a towering six. Uh, I think Hussain will have to go through to a big hundred if we are to win this game. That's going to be the key. We need one man getting a big score and a few contributions of 50 plus from the other ones. We're going to get anywhere near this 350 total. It's going to have to be a good um, display of hitting. It's good shots. Crossed the line a little bit, but it was the shot was on, to say the least. There's no fielder out there. boundaries off the over. We've already got the required off the over. 12 off the over now. English 128 for 2 after um, 18 overs. Bit of turn there on offer. Lovely shot from Hamad Naeem. It's his first boundary I believe. No, it's his second boundary. Playing himself and he's going around run a ball at the moment, which is perfectly acceptable. It's a good shot again. If this rain has stopped play. What the duck for thought is 237 bollocks. There's absolutely no way the DRS would be or the Duckworth Lewis would be par 237 after that. Oh, some controversy in the cricket here. 
unbelievable. Luckily, the um, <laughs> luckily the brain is um, not around. Just noticed that they had to correct that immediately. Twenty-seven. I can't believe it's that crazy. I feel as though it would be a hit of um, Duckworth Lewis at the moment. Where well, I'd be near um, that score. Lovely shot from Muhammad Naeem. Gets it away for four. Boom. That's a cracking... That's a cracking shot. It's absolutely a... Um, one of the best shots of the day. From Muhammad Naeem. 69 for two now and this is where we tend to collapse so we're just got to form another partnership ah, the data Naeem has gone 36 of 26 he looked a lot better in that innings but yeah just a double strike for India two new batsmen at the crease too which makes it very difficult but yeah we've got to Get about that very quickly and try and get back into this game again. Two relatively inexperienced players at the crease. Just this Bangladesh side is notoriously over the last few seasons. Whenever we get a good partnership like we did before, it just falls apart completely. Ninety-eight for five now. Is there life still in this game yet? Two hundreds up. Another wicket tumbles. So yeah, we're into the um, tail enders now. Just another series that slipped away, you know. That was a very capable series we could have won. I had India in a position in this match too, but they were 2 2 9 for 5. They should not have got to the total they got to. And again, we're going to go away disappointed. Two two three for 8. 227 for 8. Duckworth Lewis has just stayed at that total the whole time. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode anyway. Like, we, we showed a bit in that first match. Just a wee bit disappointing in those last two matches. Yeah, the world ra ratings um, see us um, in 10th place at the moment. We have moved a wee bit up. 20 overs were starting to move up now. We're basically... Only a series went away from going up as far as um, sixth place. So it, it, it is all coming together. It just um, a lot of patience is required. So we will be back um, for a very fascinating tour. Afghanistan are touring us. We are going to play the two test matches against these two. Um, it's going to be fascinating. Afghanistan, I believe, um, have had the advantage over us over the years. Um, performance. Yep, we've lost test series after test series against them. So that is what we'll play next. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the episode. Smash the like button. Give us a lot of comments. I try to reply to them as quickly as possible. I do have a new job, hence why it's been a bit slow replying or late, but we will get there and reply back to everyone. But for now, we'll catch you later.